Hey guys, Tudor Marine here uh, with another boot camp story for you. This one is called DI Fired. Um, and it's going to happen. Uh, you may not see it, it may not happen to your platoon or even your company, but drill instructors do get fired <clears throat> for whatever reason. They get too physical with their recruit. They, you know, fuck up outside of their interactions with you. Whatever it is, they're people too. They're going to mess up. And in some cases, they get fired. Um, I'm going to keep names out of this. Um, I will say it wasn't my drill instructor I mentioned in the early Chow Late Chow video. Um, McMillan wasn't him. Um, it was another drill instructor of mine. Um, it was pretty funny. He was a new new instructor. He, you tell, he had just graduated um, drill instructor school. And, uh, you know, so he was fresh, he was ready to go, he was just pretty motivated, and he ended up getting reinstated later, and he finished his time uh, <clears throat> as a drill instructor well. Um, but he... So, basically what happened is we were... What were we doing? We were doing something in the squad bay, and I honestly don't remember what it was. We were probably... We were cleaning our rifles? Shit, I don't know. We were doing something, and <clears throat> it was about time for us to leave to go, I think, to a class or something. And our kill hat, McMillan, he came out, and uh, he was getting ready to get us outside when one of the recruits <clears throat> requested to speak, and McMillan went up to him, and, uh, and he... Uh, Basically, instru not instructed, but he told uh, McMillan that his duty belt, which is the the green belt with a big gold belt buckle on it that has an eagle glow and anchor on the belt buckle, um, all drill instructors wear them, that it was upside down. So when McMillan was getting ready to come out, he put his belt, put his duty belt on, and he didn't realize it was upside down. You know, no big deal, whatever. But the recruit, for whatever reason, felt that it was his job to inform the drill instructor of this. The kid was a douchebag the whole time anyway. No one liked him. But anyway, <clears throat> so McMillan saw this, and you never see <clears throat> drill instructors making major corrections to their uniforms in front of you because they, they strive for perfection. They look crisp and sharp the whole time. The uniforms are always amazing. Um, and so it's not something he's going to do in front of you. He's not going to take it off, f you know, flip it around, whatever he had to do, and put it back in front of you. It's just not going to happen. So he didn't say anything. He's walked into the duty hut, and you know that he was fixing it. Well, <clears throat> this other drill instructor was, had been kind of standing around. He's seen this, and he got irate over the fact that a recruit was telling a sergeant of Marines that his belt buckle was upside down. And granted, the kid did nothing wrong. He was an idiot. But for whatever reason, this drill instructor got upset about it. And long story short is he ended up taking off his duty belt and started yelling at the kid. And the kid was, you know, just responding properly. He wasn't being disrespectful. And uh, the drill instructor just freaking smacked him right upside the face <laughs> with the duty belt, with the belt buckle hitting him right in the face. And those things are pretty heavy, too. Um... If you ever get a chance to hold one there, they got some good weight to them. And it just popped this kid right upside the fucking head. I thought it was hilarious because the kid was stupid. Um, and you're going to be, I mean, in boot camp, you're going to get pushed around. You're going to get jostled. You're going to trip and fall on shit. You're going to bang yourself up. It's going to happen. It's boot camp for fucking Marines. You're going to get, you're going to be sore, to say the least. But this was just blatant. Blatant hitting, technically with a weapon. Um, and, I mean, you can tell immediately he regretted it. He's like, fuck. And he ended up, the other drone instructors came and and pulled him away from it, from the situation. And then he ended up getting fired and sent to the, uh, to the uh, swim tank where he was a swim instructor 
uh, for a while. I'm not sure how long because I was only in boot camp for three months, so I have no idea how long he was there. But I know he did go back to um, being a DI later, and I know this because he ended up coming to my battalion down the road, which was pleasant. Um, <clears throat> he got promoted and stuff, so he's dude. He's a good dude. I talked to him a few times, and he ended up deploying to Afghanistan as I got out. Um, good dude. He really is. But, you know, he just got heated and <laughs> ended up popping the kid in the fucking face. But it was funny. My advice to you guys, um, I guess, if, if you're ever in that sort of situation, is <clears throat> unless it is something that occurs all the time, you know, if your DI is constantly, like, punching you in the face and it's constantly beating the shit out of you or something, don't be a little cunt and go tell on him. Um, that's not to say to pro you know to protect yourself, because if they start attacking you like that, then you have to defend yourself. But you have to be careful. This kid, he was too much of a bitch to try and hit the drone instructor. And for your own good, I do. Unless your life is at at stake, which it won't be, but should the crazy situation happen where your life is at stake, then defend yourself. Otherwise, don't. Because if you hit a drill instructor, they can, they will, most likely, kick your ass out of boot camp and you will not become a Marine. Um, so my best advice is to just tough it out, to not say shit, to deal with it, and just don't do something stupid. You don't want to fuck your career up because, because you couldn't hold a punch back. Um... And I was going kind of off topic, but as I think about it, you know, I know chances are you're going to be in some sort of situation where you're going to want to defend yourself or or just something. I mean, there's, our instructors never hit us. Um, they would like, chest bump you and hit you with your shoulder, but nothing, you know, no full-on, like, fucking crazy-ass Hail Mary punch to the face. Nothing crazy like that. Um... <clears throat> But just know being roughed up and being tossed around, all that sort of shit in boot camp is expected, and it's what you do. Don't be the little vagina that goes and, and tells because they got a bruise because a drill instructor was running by them and knocked them over and they bumped their arm on the side of their rack or something stupid. Don't do it. Not only will you very most likely ruin that instructor, drill instructor's career, you will also make everybody fucking hate you. And... If you do something like that, word gets passed on to your MCT instructors or to your the infantry uh, school instructors, and then from there it'll get passed on to your unit. And I can guarantee fucking to it. So just don't be a little bitch. How's that? Um, yeah, there's a funny ass story though. I I freaking I can still picture picture it. You know now it was absolutely hilarious and. Yeah, that shit was funny. All right, guys. Uh, as always, f hit me up on Facebook, on Twitter, or here if you have anything or would like to make a request. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Super five.